Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. And the season is kicking off. This is my very first preview for the season. It's Ipswich versus Liverpool. And well, if you're new to the channel, what I do is I go through how I think the game's going to go. I'll give you a score prediction, and I'll also let you know who I think will be lining up on the pitch come Saturday afternoon. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Ipswich have just been promoted into the Premier League for the first time in a long time. So I see this being a bit of a walk in the park for Liverpool. I'm hoping Slot's new tactics, his new system, I'm hoping we can go out there, put on a great performance and yeah, batter them. Send them straight back down to the championship where they came from. I do think if you watch my um, season preview, I'll actually put a link up here. You'll actually see how I think their season will go in that video as well. Not very good. I do think they'll be going straight back down. I just don't think they have the strength to stay in the Premier League, especially seeing as last season, the Premier League, League seemed really strong. A lot of teams were beating a lot of teams. Um, even some of the middle table teams were getting great results and moving themselves up the league. So I think anybody who's coming up from the championship, I think it's going to be very difficult for them. And yes, I don't think it's going to be a comfortable season for Ipswich. So I'm hoping Liverpool go out and batter them. Um, also, the fact it's Slot's first game, he wants to go out there and show what he's made of. Get the fans behind him, get the belief going. We've seen some great performances in pre-season. Some great results, barring a behind-closed-door friendly that we lost against Preston, of course. But other than that, We've won four out of four against good teams, against United, Arsenal, Betis, Sevilla. They're good teams. The tactics seem to be working. I'm really impressed with certain aspects of the system. And yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to be the benchmark. He's going to go out, show what he's made of. The team's going to go out fighting. And we come out with a massive result. I really do hope so. Which leads me into my score prediction. So I'll put that up on the screen now. 3-0. I'm going to have to go 3-0 for Liverpool. Just from what I've seen and what I'm expecting from the likes of Ipswich and from Liverpool, I'm just, I'm just expecting to beat them and to dominate them, to do it easily. So 3-0 is my score prediction. So now let's get into my lineup prediction. And of course, between the sticks, it's going to be Alisson. He's our number one. For me, he's the world's number one. Straight into the team. No, no questions asked about that. Next, at left back, of course, Andrew Robertson. He's just, he's Andrew Robertson. Um, obviously, a few injuries last season kept him away from the pitch. But he's still, when he came back, he's just got that energy, that running up and down the wing like a madman. And he's also pretty dangerous with the assists. Admittedly, last season, not too bad with the assists. Uh, not too great, I should say, with the assists. But... It's, it's just the danger that he brings down that left-hand side. So he goes in. On the right-hand side, of course, I'll go on with Trent Alexander-Arnold. I hope we sort out his contract. We need to sort out his contract. He's the scouser in our team. He's the local lad. We need to keep him. He's world-class. Straight in at right-back for me. Now, centre-back. We've seen a few little pairings over pre-season. Of course, that's just Slot trying to figure out who's who, who can do what. But of course, it's going to be Virgil van Dijk and Ibrahima Kanate. I do believe, I can't see it being anything else. They are our two strongest centre-backs. If Kanate does start having a bit of a poor season like he did last season, I could see Kwanzaa or Gomez being swapped in there. So that's who, that's who I've gone with anyway. I've gone with Kanate just because he is like the more mature. Well, other than Gomez, he's more mature than the likes of Kwanzaa. He's a far more experienced and I, I don't know why I'm just expecting Slot to do what Klopp done and just not play Gomez unless we needed him in a strange position. So into the double pivot because of course with Slot's new system it will be a 4-2-3-1 so the two in midfield I have gone with McAllister and Jones. The reason I put Jones there is because he's played there a lot in pre-season it seems to be what Slot wants to do with Curtis Jones. Um, I think 
out of the four games, I think he played there three times. And the other game, I think he only played for a few minutes. So I think that's something he's looking at. He's looking at bringing Curtis Jones into the double pivot. And McAllister, well, we know McAllister can play, play that role. I think he'd be far more suited to that than Endo. He's just, again, just a bit, he's just a better player than Endo. But of course, if we needed to push McAllister forward, Endo can always fit in there because Endo can do a job as well. So we do have quite enough um, reinforcements, shall I say, in for the double pivot. Uh, even Ryan Gravenberg was tested out there and performed quite well there. So we do have a bit of depth there. So next into the three, I've got Saboslai in the middle. Um, I just think that's where he's pl he'll play. I think that's where he's suited to play. I think that would be his preferred position as well if you asked him. That's where he'd want to play. So that's why I've put him there. Of course, then on the left wing, I've gone with Luis Diaz. Whether we'll see much more of him, I don't know. Apparently Barcelona are knocking on the door. Hope not, but if he does, we need to replace him and quick. So Diaz will start at left wing against Ipswich, barring him moving to Barcelona, of course. Um, I, don't, I, I hope it doesn't happen, but like I say, if it does, we need to replace him quick. And we need to get somebody in and training with the team because they need to get used to the system. On the right wing, I've gone with Salah, of course. He's the Egyptian king running up and down that wing. He's just something else. Even last season, he didn't even look that great, but he still managed to get over 20 goals, which is something incredible. And in pre-season, he's looked fresh. He's looked sharp. He's looked quick. Looking forward to seeing what he can provide this season because he's looking good. He's looking like he's fitting into this system really well and then up top i've gone with diogo jota i know we have darwin nunez that's always an option i just think if jota's fit jota starts over him jota is an absolute assassin in the box like i said again in the preview video i will leave a link he's an absolute assassin if he stayed fit 30 40 games a season he's getting 30 goals he really will he just bags goals so for me, Jota has to start. So that is my lineup. So in full, that is Allison, Robertson, Van Dijk, Canate, Trent, McAllister, Jones, Diaz, Soboslai, Salah, and Jota up front. Let me know what you guys think, of course. Get in the comments below. If you have any thoughts, any opinions, if you think I'm wrong, let me know as well. I don't mind. I'm happy to start a dialogue with you and we can exchange ideas. So please do consider doing that. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Makes a massive difference. Every single person who subscribes makes a huge difference. And I've set a new goal. For the end of this season, I want to get to 500 subscribers. And if you like the content, of course, hit that like button. So this kicks off at half past 12 on Saturday at Portman Road Stadium. That is Ipswich's ground. I'll be there for a live watch along. Look out for this thumbnail and you can come along, watch it with me. I'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the game. I'll let you know about goals, cards, offsides, whatever happens in the game. I will let you guys know live. So come along and join. Everybody is welcome. And until then, up the fucking Reds.